this is my first weekly vlog channel. I've never really done this before, just videotaping what I do during the week, every day. And it's a little strange, but um, I'm gonna give it a go. And I really hope that you guys enjoy it. Um, thinking about doing some cooking, um, maybe going out, we'll see. But either way, um, before we get started on this video, just want to say thank you all for all of your support. I see the messages, I see the likes, the subscriptions, and I really appreciate all the support. So thank you so much for all of that. And if you're not subscribed yet, go subscribe, leave a like, comment, talk to me. I tend to respond back. You know, I want to communicate with you guys and uh, let you guys get to know me. So um, I hope you guys enjoy my weekly vlog and let's get into it. So from time to time, I like to experiment with cooking, try different recipes, and I have one that I want to try next. It is the Moroccan tagine with preserved lemons and couscous. Never done this before. It is a vegetarian dish, so I'm super excited. But I am going to start the process of preserving the lemons. Uh, maybe give it a few days and then do the rest of the dish later on throughout the week. So let's do this. to cook for my channel. Cooking is something that I enjoy doing from time to time, but I had it in my head that I had to make it first before showing it to you guys because I didn't want it to be gross. I didn't want to make it wrong. I didn't <laughs> want to do it incorrectly. Um, I didn't want it to taste bad. Um, but then I was like, who cares? Like that's life you know you can try recipes and, and not every time it's gonna come out great sometimes it's gonna come out not so great and that's okay and if it does you guys can see what I did wrong if I did anything wrong and correct it yourself or maybe I can try it and not like the flavor but maybe you guys will like the flavor and vice versa <sighs> that's life so from now on if I'm cooking something I am gonna do it, that's probably gonna be my first time doing it. Just get the little excitement going. And if it comes out great, then beautiful. If not, then that's okay too.
going to make a paste out of some onions, some garlic, and some spices. We have pepper, we have salt here, we have ground coriander, ground cumin, uh, ground turmeric, ground cinnamon, ground ginger, and cayenne red pepper. should turn into a paste. There's onion, garlic, olive oil, and like a bunch of spices. So it should turn into a paste. So it's said to use a food processor, but I don't have one and they're pretty pricey. So I use just my Nutribullet and I think it worked, came out this is what it came out to look like. Pretty much looks like a paste. So, you know, you gotta work with what you got. So I'm gonna leave that there. <laughs> going to add the onions Mira <laughs> 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 <laughs>
taking a little break from cooking to go get some coffee and get some coffee for my best friend she said she needs some coffee and she is a mother who works at home with two babies so she can't really go out to get her coffee so I'm gonna get it for her So I got the impossible breakfast sandwich and I freaking devoured it. <laughs> I was so hungry. Um, but my go-to drink right now from Starbucks is the chocolate foam cold brew. It's really good. like strong because of the cold brew but then has that chocolate foam on top that makes it a little bit sweet not too bitter it's really good Couscous took like five minutes to do. It was so fast. It's faster than than rice, but it's all done. And yeah, we are done cooking this Moroccan dish, and can't wait to try it. Yeah, can't wait to try it. So just going to let everything simmer for a little bit more and then we'll, we'll try it to see if it came out good. Um, so far, this tastes more like it has like a lemon flavor. So I probably went a little too crazy on the preserved lemons. Um, I think I'm going to have like maybe a little bit more cayenne pepper, cumin salt and pepper um, because all, the only flavor I really get when I taste it is lemon so I'm gonna add a little bit more of that all right guys this is the final product I added some spinach on top I'm gonna add some mint as well some almonds on top 
let's go ahead and taste this. I'm so excited. All right, so I feel like it's gonna be still on the lemon side of taste, but I'm just gonna go ahead and mix all of this up. this curry smell to it. Um, so I wonder if it's gonna taste similar to curry. Alrighty. We've got some squash, some eggplant, some tomatoes, some spinach, couscous, some mint. We got everything in there. Mm. Okay, I need to wait. It's hot. Mm. big chunk of the apricot so there's like a sweet taste it doesn't have a super strong taste though like curry curry has like a pretty strong taste this one doesn't and i feel like i put a good amount of spices but i barely taste anything mm, it's good Taste the cayenne pepper in there. Mm. But the most I taste is a lemon. It's got a very simple taste. So I guess if you like a taste that's not super strong. Go with, I guess, the measurements measurements you saw me put in. But if you want something with a lot, a lot of flavor, go crazy with the spices. It's a a healthy meal, hearty healthy meal, and I feel like I would pair it with some pita and like a yogurt dip, some pita and hummus. Mm. It's good. Mm. I would give it from one to 10, mm, probably a five. Cause I like that it's a healthy option. I like that it's vegetarian. But needs more of something. Mm -mm 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 